Bro. Hey. Hey. Yeah, what's up? Our shoot. Yeah. It's today. Oh, it's today? Yeah. Oh. Hi, guys. My name is Azmi. I'm the founder of Datel and currently the head of consumer intelligence department. I lead a team of researchers, analysts, and data scientists, including Sahariel back there, in our journey to discover consumer intelligence. So what is consumer intelligence? Let's get down to that. So what is consumer intelligence? Let's go back in time. Not too far back, Wayne. 20 to 25 years ago, consumers were dictated by the industry, aka the supply side. Remember the time when we wanted to watch television? Cartoons at 5 p.m., news at 7 p.m., drama series at prime time at 8 p.m. Here we are rushing to the couch, fighting for the remote with our siblings. Today, well, today everything is at the tip of finger, you name it. YouTube, Netflix, Astro on the go. The market has clearly shifted since then, from what was industry driven to consumer driven. Today's world, the consumer is empowered. Does it just benefit the consumers? No. Today's empowerment has reached far and wide, including to businesses large and small. Now, what do I mean by that? There's this little murtabak shop in Pencunung and Jakarta. It's one of my favorite murtabak shop. One day I met the owner and I asked him how it all started. And he told me back then, way back then, no, not that long ago, his customers came maybe from one to two kilometer radius from his humble store. But today, yeah, his customers come all the way north from Pluit, down south to Pondok Indah. Now, of course, this is clearly due to the rise of the food delivery business with the likes of Goje and GrabFood. Ease of use, variety, competitive price points, daily promos, you name it. Consumers today are spoiled for choice. Think about it. Merely five years ago, food delivery is the domain of McD and Domino's. Now, add in the Murtaba and Pechenengan into the mix. Marketplace today is far different and far more challenging for businesses. Businesses of today face a landscape that is fragmented, fickle, and more importantly, lines are being blurred. The Tells Consumer Intelligence seeks to assist decision makers from organizations big or small to face this new market landscape by addressing the G to K to S. What is G to K to S? Let me show you. Grow. Keep. Kill. Switch. Sell. These five letters essentially describe the reason why companies exist. So how do we go about trying to address this for companies in the town? First, we start by changing our perspective from being industry driven or top down to bottom up, consumers driven. Second, we are on an adventure to map out one of mankind's greatest conundrum, the irrational consumer. Third, we start by mapping out the consumer journey via the five A's and what influences them, the three O's. Our data architecture or consumer data metrics is built on three key foundations. A, the verticals. We identify 11 verticals that make up consumers' life. B, data typology. These are data sets that we collect that relates to consumption and what drives it. And lastly, C, dimensions, split by identity, time, and geography. So how and where do we get our data from? Well, that's a secret. Nah, we pride ourselves in having the omnichannel approach. Not only do we have a strong interest to discover actionable data and insights for our clients, we strive to identify more ways to capture the data to help understand the consumers of today better. Ah. So that's our consumer intelligence. We hope you can join us at Idahack by the Tell to find new ways 
new ideas, new channels, new methods in our journey to uncover the hidden truth of ASEAN consumers. So see you then. So, hey.